What's going on guys, Bob Roach from RoachTechnology.com here with yet another quick Hackintosh tip for you. This time on how to enable CUDA on NVIDIA GPUs. Now I'm going to come up here to a, the About This Mac menu and as you can see I'm running a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 670. This should work on just about any NVIDIA card. Of course if it's a really low end card that really doesn't pack any CUDA cores then obviously this won't you know benefit you very much. But a card like this or a 680 or like a 660 Ti, this will definitely benefit you. Especially if you really want to do work in say After Effects or Premiere. If you're just a, a user that for some reason you got this beefy card and all you do is web browse and things like that, then there's really no need to do this. Your card will work just fine for you. However, like I said, if you're into content production and you have applications here, you know, like After Effects, Premiere, things like that, then you will definitely want to do this and take the advantage of that GPU. Now in order to make this a quick Hackintosh tip, emphasis on the quick, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. The first thing you have to do is if you don't already have the CUDA preference pane right here, what you have to do is go to the link in the description and that's going to be where you actually download CUDA for Mac. I'm just going to go ahead and download the latest one. At this point it's 5.0.36, so just go ahead and download that. It says right here it's about 50 megabytes, so of course you know you just agree and download and uh, shouldn't take very long depending on your internet connection. And as you can see right here, it's now finished, so we're going to go find it in the finder and just install it like you would any other DMG. That reveals a package. Continue, continue. Take 200 megabytes, that's fine. Go ahead and enter your extremely secure password and wait for it to finish. And we're going to go ahead and close this. Now I think I'll have to uh, quit out of that and refresh it. As you can see, now we have a CUDA option here. So that just lets you know that it's been installed. And if you want to go ahead and uh, install an update or something, then that is all up to you. But I'm going to go ahead and leave that alone for now. And let's go ahead and move on. Now for these next steps, you're going to need to have both Adobe Premiere and After Effects installed. I currently just have the trial versions. It will work just fine either way. But if you look in the description, there's a link to this text file right here. What we're going to do now is go ahead and copy this terminal command. We're going to open up terminal and simply paste it. Now it is important to note that before going on, we will be using the sudo command in some of these. So you will need to set a password in your system preferences if you haven't already. So now go ahead and continue on. Let's go ahead and paste that terminal command. And that's going to open up this guy. And what you want to look for is this right here where it says name. And it actually lists the name of your GPU that you're using. What you want to do is just copy that. Now I'll go ahead and I'll bring out this text document and I'll just paste it at the bottom. And now what you want to do is copy this next uh, terminal command right here. Paste that one. And that's that sudo command. That's where you need to have your password. Go ahead and hit enter. And now what you want to do is arrow down right here, right below that Quadro 4000. And that name of your card that you have that you copied earlier, go ahead and paste it in right there. And now what you want to do is hit Control X. And that little thing at the bottom is going to come up, Y or N, yes or no for changes. Go ahead and hit yes so it'll change them. And then go ahead and hit enter. And that takes you right back here. And now we're going to do the same exact thing but for After Effects. So now copy this next one down here, this next terminal command. Go ahead and enter that guy. It does the same exact thing but it brings up the, the text file for After Effects instead of Premiere. Same thing, arrow down, paste it, control X, Y, enter. And that's all there is to it. I'm going to go ahead and hit exit, or type exit rather. We can now close out of terminal. And actually, I don't even think a reboot is needed. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll fire up After Effects. And as you can see, we got a weird error there. No big deal. Just go ahead and continue let the application open. And now that it's open, just come up to After Effects, Preferences. We'll go to Previews. And one way to test make sure that it worked, go ahead and click GPU information. And right here, you should now be able to choose between CPU and GPU, which you could not do before. And that's pretty much all there is to enabling CUDA for your NVIDIA graphics card. I hope this video helped you guys, and I hope now you can get, you know, take the most advantage out of that NVIDIA card you bought. That especially if it's like a 670 or a 680 that you spent three or four hundred dollars on, you really want to take advantage of it. So thank you guys very much for watching. I'm at CPU Kid on Twitter. Also be sure to check out RoachTechnology.com, and I hope to see you guys back here soon.